In this episode, you will learn how to configure your test to run only under some conditions. Let's start with this uh, conditional test demo. The point of this uh, example is to demonstrate that you could have a, a set of tests, but maybe those tests will not run all of them in just one test run. You maybe want them uh, for some particular situations. For example, here, I have an API version. Let's assume that this is some sort of feature flag or something that will tell me which test should run uh, because, well, maybe we have a different API configuration and that API is not compatible with the previous one. And for the purpose of this demo, we have this uh, here to test that should run only on version one. And this one will run on version two. And the third will run in the version three that let's say that is not available to production. Okay. So technically here, since that we are, uh, you know, invoking only version two, uh, only this one should run. But as you can see, uh, nothing is stopping Swift testing to run everything, right? So as we saw in the episode with, with known issue, it is not a good practice to just, uh, let's say, comment this and then run the specific API version that I want to test, right? Now, uh, Swift testing provides a set of tools that you can use to improve your test resources, okay? So for this one, we have here in test macro uh, an, an, another trait that you can use to enable or disable your test depending on situations. The first option here is just uh, disabling the test at all. So let's call it disable, okay? Let's uh, just, for the purpose of this example, let's mark this to test has disabled, okay? And I will run it. Let's see what happened. You notice that, yeah, uh, these two tests, test one and test two, are skipped, okay? And we just run uh, test three and test four related to API version two and three, okay? Which is, is great, right? So uh, for some situations where we don't have enough uh, time to figure out uh, something is wrong with this test, or maybe under some uh, situations, again, uh, those tests are not uh, required for this run, but we don't want to remove them. Uh, this disable uh, trait is a great for, for these kind of situations. However, as I said before, I want to run them only specifically if I want to uh, verify that version one uh, from this API is running, or later, I want to just modify that condition uh, or, or that uh, 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 value here and then activate or disable the test, okay? And we can do that. Let's go back here and remove this uh, disable trait. We will use enable, but not this one. We will use enable if. And now here, you will insert the, what is the condition that will make this run uh, to be executed in the test run? So here we want that API version should be equal to version one, okay? Let's copy this. And because uh, we want this two to be just in version one. And let's do this also, but for version two, and lastly, let's use it for version three. Okay, I think we are good now. Now, now let's run this uh, suite. And let's see, yep, yeah, those tests are not executed. And look how this uh, test four is also uh, skipped. The only one in this example running is uh, test three, which is what we want. Now, let's just take a look. Now, I want to review my uh, legacy API. So let's call it, uh, let's call it version one and see what happened. 
there you go. Yeah, now we are just executing tests from my legacy API, and these two will not be touched. This is a great, again, you know, to avoid uh, removing tests or creating another particular configuration or, or even worse, commenting your code because uh, your API is not compatible uh, with the current uh, API version. So we don't want that. That's great. But there is one more thing I want to show you. You can add uh, more traits and even combine them uh, according to your needs. Let's say, for example, um, uh, that this uh, test, yeah, should run in version one, but for some reason your logic is not uh, good anymore, and maybe this test uh, needs uh, uh, an evaluation to see, okay, maybe we should remove them, remove it, or do something else, right, or fix it. So um, we can uh, keep, let's say, uh, disable uh, here, and then even when we, even that we are marking this enable uh, condition, if disable is here, it will stop the execution at all. Let's see that. There we go. And now, uh, even we can go further and provide even more information. For example, we can mark this as a bug. And let's say that um, we have a ticket we have a ticket for that, one, two, three, four, okay? So now uh, the developer, oops, oh, there you go. The thing is, is, is this, <laughs> I need to add the ID, there you go, okay. So now uh, the developer can just uh, add the ticket ID, let's say, and you can easily identify which is the ticket that will fix this issue, okay? And now uh, everyone will understand and provide context about this this test. We are uh, executing this only for version one uh, from our API, but right now it's disabled because there's an issue or so, and uh, there is a bug pending to be to fix this uh, specific test. And well, that's another great tool that you can use for uh, your test environment. Another great tool from Swift Testing. Now tell me, what do you think about this feature? I would like to read your comments down below. That's it for me. Remember, my name is Pete, and this, this is Swift Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.